Uh, group Scout Leader for Oakham All Saints Scout Group, which is based in Oakham in Rutland. Um, I took over two years ago because the group was um, at risk of closing, we had no leaders, um, and as a busy mum to a little beaver and a cub, I felt it was such a shame that a market town such as Oakham didn't have a scout group. What could have possibly gone wrong and how big a job it was. Um, obviously, when I took over, we had between 30 and 40 young people, only about two or three leaders, and it also very soon became apparent that the Scout Hut was in much need of uh, disrepair. So we started a campaign to get lots of leaders on board. Uh, we're all voluntary, we don't get paid, we do it because we love young people, we love to see them um, grow and progress. Um, and we love scouting. Um, never having done scouting or guides before, I did not know what I'd got myself into, I have to say. But I could put my hand on heart and say I love it. Um, so we started a campaign to obviously raise funds to replace the roof. However, at the beginning of the year, and certainly with all the bad weather that we had over Easter of this year, I had to unfortunately condemn the scout hut because it was like living in a jungle. It was like drip, drip, drop from um, Bambi, or you could hear all the time when we were in here. Also, um, the rain had damaged our electrics and um, upon doing further risk assessments, our heating was also um, not uh, fit for purpose. And so, sadly, in March, we closed our scout hut, um, began campaign campaigning in earnest for, uh, and looking for sort of grants. Um, so I can't thank you guys enough for the support that you've given us. Um, we've spent the last seven or eight months um, outdoors, um, going back to basic scouting, which what we found is actually our young people absolutely love. They love running around in the woods, they love getting muddy, they love starting fires, obviously safely. Um, and doing back to basics, which is what our young people should do. A lot of our young people these days are on gadgets and it's very difficult to get them engaged in, in, in other uh, activities. So two weeks ago, um, I'm glad to say we're back in the hut. Um, we have a roof on, uh, we have new electrics, we have a brand new heating system. Thanks to you guys and lots of other local members of the community and local businesses, it's been absolutely astounding and I'm overwhelmed with the donations that we've received as well as obviously our young people um, uh, going out there and fundraising in the community ourselves. Uh, we support lots of members of the community and I'm hoping that when the Scout Hut is finally finished, there's a few bits still left to do, that we'll also have a community building that we will be proud of and that our community can actually use. Um, and finally, just to say that we now have about 15 or 16 leaders and nearly 140 young people that we support um, in being good citizens, good members of the community, and um, I'm very proud to say that our leaders equip these young people with first skills for life and that hopefully one day they'll all be valid members of your charities. Nice,